Okay, it's Mama Fee. I'm back. I told you guys I was going to come back and do my rotisserie chicken. So I have washed the chicken, patted it down dry with a paper towel. So now I'm getting ready to baste it. Actually, I'm going to wet it, pat it down just a hair more because I see water on my board, which tells me that all the water hadn't completely gotten back of it when I patted it down. And yes, uh, the chicken is clean and my hands are clean. For all those people who still want to joke about that. Um, so I'm patting it down, just getting all that excess water off of it. And this is just one of the, you know, roasting chickens that you get in the, in the grocery store. And what I did is I melted down, as you can see, it's just butter. I took like a half a cube of butter and I use my four seasonings, Johnny's, seasoning pepper, garlic powder, and uh, poultry seasoning. And I just melt that down in the butter as it melts to, so I can baste the chicken. And that's where you get all your flavor from. I like to be able to see my seasoning on my food. Um, that's when you know it's gonna taste good. So now I'm just basting it down. This is gonna be a quick something, y'all, because it really, I'm telling you, if you get a rotisserie, there's no work at all. It really, this rotisserie thing does all the work for you. So now I have to stand it up. You can see all the seasonings on that side. Look at that. And now I'm standing it up. Bring my pot back over here and put all my herbs on the bottom half of the chicken. And you really want to make sure you get all, even the tip of the wing. I mean, that's where when you're eating the chicken and you're eating in pieces, you want to be able to taste all of that seasoning all over the whole thing. And now, again, this is based on your taste buds and what you like. This is just what we like. We like to be able to taste our seasoning on our chicken. So I'm just basting this up. Putting it on all the little tips and corners and everything. All the little cracks and crevices, little rear end piece right there, all of that. You want you want your seasoning on the entire chicken underneath the wing. Like I said, on the tips. Because that flavor just really gets in there when you're cooking it. Trying not to splat this all over my mini mouth shirt. Yes, sir, buddy. And now I've done that. I just keep kind of scraping that butter off the thing. So now this is the, the rotisserie um, piece itself. You take and you put it through the leg. And you really have to kind of even it out to make sure that when you put it inside the rotisserie, it's not hitting the front or the back of the, the rotisserie machine itself. But it just slides through real easy. Adjust it on there. And then I even take like the, this is like the behind piece. My husband likes to eat that piece with the neck and the liver and the gizzards. So I put all that seasoning on there. I'm gonna take, put the tip on. Other side on. Lock it in. And then I come over here. I think you can see my rotisserie. I actually just sit it in here. On the level that I think I need it on so it's not hitting the front or the back. Uh-oh. And then I put it on an hour and 15 minutes and hit roast. And there is my rotisserie chicken. I don't have to do anything else to it. It just cooks on its own, it does its own thing. The rotisserie does all the work. That's a meal. And then I'm gonna take, and I've got corn on the cob. So I'm gonna take this corn, I'm gonna cut it off the ears, put it in a pan, stir fry some bacon, and some red peppers, green peppers, and mix it in with the corn and make like a, a what I call a browned corn. A, they have certain names for the corn, but I just like to call it pan seared skillet corn. Um, but again, I'm gonna cut it off the hus, hus, husks 
with some bacon, red pepper, green pepper, cook it in there until it's good enough for me, add some butter, and again, I add my salt and seasoning pepper. I, I love me some seasoning pepper, y'all. And put that on my corn, and there's my dinner. Uh, probably won't even do an, uh, a green. The corn and the chicken is all we really need. No starches today. Well, corn is a starch, but I might do a little bit of salad. We shall see. But that's all that there is. All right. When it comes out the rotisserie, I'm going to show you guys a picture of it before I cut it so you can see what it looks like. And dinner's done. That took what? Let's see. Five minutes and 38 seconds, 39 seconds. Well, to prep the chicken. The corn will take me about another 15 minutes to cut it all off the husks and put it in the pan and let that do its own thing. But that's it. All right. Have a great day, great evening, stay warm. Uh, if it's cold where you're at, if it's beautiful, get outside and do something, get some fresh air. And uh, say hi to Minnie for me today. Hey Minnie, she says, hey, what's going on? All right, holler, Mama Fee out. Oh, I put a post out there today, you guys. So go to my Instagram or my Facebook page. Um, we got a listing. 1444 Willis Lake Drive. It's a beautiful home if you're in the Atlanta metro area looking for a house in the Kennesaw area. Give me a call. We'd love to show you the house, let you walk through it. We really want to get this house sold for um, a really good friend of ours. So let me know if you're thinking about moving, know somebody that's going to be relocating here or selling because they're going someplace else. Tell them to give us a call. Team Cannon. Mama Fee, Felicia Cannon, whoever, 253-376-9544. Give us a shout out and we are more than, well, more than welcome. In fact, excited to help you in your housing adventures. That's what I love doing, helping people get into their home. If you written, you paying too much money against somebody else's mortgage. I just keep saying that. That's why Jair's still living up in here. $1,500, $2,000 a month towards somebody else's property. That's foolishness. Get your own house. So start getting your credit together today. Go out there and find out what your credit score is because you should know that at all times. And then whatever you've got negative sitting on your credit, if you've got too much debt to equity, uh, get rid of some bills, pay some stuff off, stop charging, save some money, always pay yourself first every every month when you get paid every week every by week every month save your money and put your money aside so you can get your own property that's how we start leaving legacies for our kids we got to start stop thinking about just ourselves and think about what we leaving for generations to come serving others that's where i'm at this year serving others mama fee out bye